Happy Monday, everyone. I'm Martha with Nature Niche. And uh, for this week's topic, my friend Rita found a really cool walking stick. So I thought we'd talk about it. We think it's a northern walking stick. And uh, there are some other fun common names for walking sticks that I didn't know about. Things like devil's or witch's riding horse. Um, devil's uh, darning needle or my favorite, the prairie alligator. Not really sure about where that comes from, but thought that was interesting. There are about 3,000 species uh, worldwide of walking sticks, and uh, they're very diverse in the tropics. Um, here in North America, the largest ones can get up to seven inches long, and most species in the United States um, are wingless. So, there are six really cool legs coming out of the very long thorax of um, this walking stick. And uh, I didn't know this, but if a predator attacks and grabs onto a leg, they will actually sacrifice the leg sometimes. And uh, depending on the exact species and the age, they might be able to partially or completely regenerate that leg. Um, it's a very terrestrial species, so if you see something similar in uh, the water, it's probably a water scorpion, and that's un unrelated to the walking stick. Uh, they're pretty shy and nocturnal creatures. They're most active between 9 p.m. and 3 a.m., and they graze along uh, the leaves of deciduous trees. As adults, they're up high in the treetops and mature trees, and as the younger nymphs, um, they start with eggs on the ground, and um, as they molt, move into lower shrubbery and eventually up into the treetops. So um, walking sticks practice a type of camouflage called crypsis, and that's camouflage plus mimicry. So their coloration is brown, um, and or green, and they do some special behaviors um, to help camouflage. So uh, this one's not doing it right now, but during the day, they'll extend those long front and rear legs, and um, they can also uh, either hold still or sway in the breeze um, to blend in with other tw twigs. Um, and they're hiding from predators, and those predators include songbirds, rodents, um, mantis, like praying mantis, uh, and they can also be parasitized by wasps and flies. So camouflage is important in that regard. They reproduce in late summer and early fall, and the females drop somewhere around 150 eggs as they're moving through the treetops. So they... Um, just sort of drop their eggs, they fall all the way down to the ground and into the leaf litter where they overwinter. And they hatch in the spring, um, or sometimes in the spring of the following year. So they can end up on a two year cycle and actually you get kind of even and odd year broods. And I was reading that in Michigan and Wisconsin, even years like this year, is a better year to see um, walking sticks. And then in Minnesota, it's the odd years seem to be better as a general rule. So the um, nymphs uh, start out green and then become more brown and twiggier, and they tend to molt hanging upside down under leaves. And uh, kind of a, a fun fact, the um, Eggs can be eaten or parasitized down in the leaf litter um, by cuckoo wasps will parasitize them. And so um, they've adapted the eggs have an outer portion that is edible and ants will actually pick them up like they do seeds and eat that outer portion. But first they carry them down into their nest. So they eat that outer portion of the egg called a capitulum and uh, then the rest of the egg is just left down there and the next spring 
um, the walking stick hatches and it's only a few millimeters long and it sort of waltzes its way out of the ant nest unharmed. So I thought that was a pretty cool uh, relationship between those two species. The adult males are usually mostly brown and adult females are brown and green. So we think this one, it's a little hard to see in the light, but there's green on the lower legs. So we're thinking that this is a female. Um, and uh, yeah, some people like to uh, catch these guys and keep them as pets. They're pretty high maintenance though. They need fresh leaves to eat every day and it's probably something better enjoyed for a little while and then let loose to do its thing and scatter eggs uh, from the treetops. But uh, keep your eyes peeled. I've had several people uh, show me uh, pictures of walking sticks that they've been seeing recently and uh, see if you can find one of your own. Take care.